OK, then, we're going to quickly cover how to install and use the Google Nick Collection plugins with Affinity Photo. So I've downloaded the image file from the Nick plugin website. So all I do is double click it, and that will mount the installer. We just double click the installer here. And yes, this is a trusted image. So we'll go ahead, click Continue on the installer, uncheck the usage statistics. Click Accept, and in here we have a list of compatible host applications, of which we have none. But not to worry, if we don't have a compatible host application like Photoshop or Lightroom installed, all we do is click plus here, and we can define a custom location to put the plugins into. So just for simplicity's sake, for now I'm going to put them on the desktop. Now, annoyingly, this installer doesn't have the option for a new folder. So either I can create one on the desktop, or I can use Shift-Command-N to create a new folder. And I'll just call it Plugins. Click Create. OK, that's fine. So we're going to install the plugins into what is apparently an Adobe Photoshop Custom 1 directory. Then click Continue. And this is also important. We need to go through with the entire installation. So no points for trying to be clever and delve into the package and extract the plugin separately, because they also rely on having the binary files, which get installed to this location. So that's fine. We'll just click Install, authenticate it, click OK, and wait for it to do its job. All right, so we are done with this installer. We can get rid of that and also right click and eject the image file. And then if we look in the plugins folder here, we have all of our plugin files installed in this custom directory. Great, so now it's time to get them registered in Photo. So we'll launch Affinity Photo. OK, close the welcome screen, then go to the Preferences menu here. And we want to choose Photoshop plugins. And then under Plugin Search Folders, we want to Add. And we'll navigate to the Desktop, find our Plugins folder, and click OK. OK, so then we just need to click Close and Restart now. So Photo will restart. And as before, if we close the welcome panel, there we go, we've got our list of plugins. So just a couple of extra steps required. You see these two here that say requires global support. Well, that simply means the plugins require access to other directories outside of their working directories. So the simple fix here is just to click Authorize Global. You see here, click Authorize. And then once again, we need to close the dialog and restart photo. We could have done this at the same time as adding the plugin search folder initially, but I just wanted to show you how to set up global authorization if you need it. So then we have a number of plugins whose status is unknown. So the other thing we need to do is check allow unknown plugins to be used. OK, and that's it. It's found all the plugins from that directory that we specified, so we can close the plugins dialog, and then I'll just open up a recent image to demonstrate usage of the plugins on. So across on the Layers panel, when you're using external plugins, a good practice is to duplicate the layer that you're going to be working on. So I'll just single click and rename this to Nick. Then I'll go to Filters, Plugins, Nick Collection, and they're all here ready to be used. So for example, I could go ahead and select Color Effects Pro. And after its initial setup, we have the plugin ready to be used. And it seems to be working quite successfully. So if I just go ahead and pick one of these for the time being, I don't know, why don't we have I'll play it safe and go for a black and white conversion, and then click OK. And as you can see, the plugins output has been returned to Photo successfully. It's all working like it should be. And we've done this with 16-bit imagery as well.
So by and large, you should find most plugins work with 16-bit documents. If they don't, you can always drop your document down to 8-bit via the color format options here. So there we go, that's typically the quickest way to get up and running with the NIC plugins. If you have other plugins that you want to try and get working with Photo, you can try the same approach. Basically, what it boils down to is try and install the plugins to a completely independent, separate directory. And you can then point Photo to that directory. So rather than getting complicated and installing plugins into application bundles and so on, try and put them into a distinct folder where Photo can easily access them. And that's it. I hope that video was helpful to you. If you have any questions or queries, please do ask on the Affinity forums. And don't forget to check out the other video tutorials. Thank you for watching.